Noted author and historian Dale Cox has discovered parts of a 200-year-old log wall still visible above ground at historic Fort Gadsden in northwest Florida. Yeah, we were approaching by boat and we looked on the shoreline. The water was really low and we see this line of what at first we thought were cypress knees. Uh, and the closer that we looked at it, you know, I realized that those are not cypress knees. That's a line of posts. And of course, uh, you know, we got to shore, we uh, go down and we look on the banks of the river and sure enough, there's a line of posts that are leading out of the eroding bank right down into the river. And lo and behold, it's uh, the remains of a line of stockade posts. According to Cox, the stockade posts are the first wooden sections of either the British or Negro Fort or the later American Fort Gadsden found standing above ground at the site. Well, this was a section of the stockade that ran from the southwest bastion of the fort uh, down to the river, and it was designed to prevent an enemy from getting between the battery of the fort and the river itself so that they could come in close and then storm up over the battery of the fort. And uh, it's really remarkable to find this, you know, a section of this still intact above ground. Uh, I don't think anything like this has been found at a fort in Florida from this age. Uh, this is a 200 year old section of log stockade still sticking up above ground. Fort Gaston was built by troops under Major General Andrew Jackson in 1818 during the First Seminole War. It was held despite its location in Spanish Florida until the colony was transferred to the United States in 1821. Learn more about Prospect Bluff on our website at twoegtv.com. At Fort Gadsden in the Apalachicola National Forest, I'm Rachel Cox for Two Egg TV.